when it's appropriate to remove a transaction from QuickBooks and we've decided to delete or undo a transaction, one of the questions that I am asked is which is the best approach? Should I be undoing a transaction from the bank feed or should I be deleting a transaction? And the answer is that both processes will work. So our choice is really in removing a transaction. It will still be in the audit as being uh, processed. Uh, so it will still be recorded in the background, but there'll be no sign of the transaction actually on the screen. So our options really are to undo or delete. So if I was to go to my banking feed here, down the left hand side, and if I'm looking at the current account at the moment here, you'll see that we've got the three tabs. So for review, and in my reviewed, I have got here an example of an entry that has been reviewed, and you'll see to the right hand side, I can click on the undo button there, and by clicking on the undo button, it will remove the transaction from reviewed and put it back into the for review so I can have another go at posting the transaction. So if I undo this particular payment received against an invoice, that's undone the transaction. And what you will actually find in your file, if you go to the transaction screens, you'll find that it will have created a void transaction. So here's my void transaction. So it's still showing in the background there that the transaction did exist, but it's just a zero receipt against that particular invoice. So that's voiding the transaction. If I put that transaction back into the system, so if I was to say, right, actually, um, I've reviewed the transaction, looked at it again, and actually this is the correct transaction. So it's back in my reviewed section. My other option in here would be to go to the actual, find the actual transaction. So here it is, there's my payment that has just been posted. And at the more button, button there at the bottom under more, I've got a choice of void and delete transaction there. So if I void it, it will create a zero entry, but a record still on screen. If I delete it, still be in the audit, but I will be getting rid of it. So uh, if I, uh, from, from the actual uh, entry for the particular customer. So either way, if I delete that, it will ask me whether I want to do that. And that transaction will, will be removed. So both ways will work. What you tend to find is that once you've done a lot of transactions in here, your reviewed list will be quite extensive and it can be easier to actually find the transaction, go back to the transaction you're looking at and make the decision there to void or delete that particular transaction. So that's giving you an understanding of the undo and delete functions within QuickBooks, but do be careful when you're using those undo and delete that you're not causing any damage to the file.